former governor of Niger State, Babangida Aliyo, has said that he has never seen a yes man with a gun. The PDP chieftain made this statement today when he was interviewed on AIT breakfast show, Kakeki. It was about the security situation of Nigeria, especially in the Niger State, which he governed for eight years. The governor said that the biggest weapon he has seen a herdsman with is a stick. He said that any herdsman seen with a gun is not a herdsman. In his way, I have never seen a herdsman with a gun. The biggest weapon for herdsmen is a stick. Babangida Aliyo. When the former governor was asked who should fund ranching in the country, he said the federal government and the state government must provide the needed land. The former chairman of the PDP Governors Forum said that the decision of the Southern governors to ban open grazing is extreme. He asked what the implication of the ban could mean. According to him, could it be that state governments who implement ban on open grazing will classificate cattle farm grazing openly in their state or that they will arrest the S-men? Some northern elites have opposed the decision of the southern governors on ban on open grazing in the south at their Saba meeting. To them, such decision is not the best solution to solve the security challenges open grazing have brought. However, the southern governors have maintained their stand in 16 that they will go ahead and implement it. Some Nigerians who reacted to the statement of Babangida Aliyu have this to say. All right. Solomon said, how can you, when you live in your mansions, when people like you talk this way, all I see is a person who is totally disconnected and lost touch with the ordinary people in his locality. Halaji, these people, they carry gun, he said. One Peter Okoye said until he sees them from the window or balcony of his Abuja mansion. I love the North for one thing, they always defend their own. From the Bauchi governor to Ali, Gumi, Patami, Malami, and Dalade, but the so called northern governors, ministers, and even junior ministers always find ways to crucify their own so as to still be relevant in the book of their masters. Southern governors and ministers are sellouts. I think what Babangida Aliyu was insinuating is that a herdsman weapon is a stick, and when he is seen possessing a gun, then he is a terrorist. I may also be wrong, though, just my thoughts. Mind you, he is on the show to discuss the security issue in Niger State. All right, you are too big to see herdsmen, even staff around you that work and work normally in your same environment. When last did you see or no, uh, notice them not to mention as men in the bush? You don't work in the bush to know that. This is to show how disconnected you are from what is happening in the country. That was in 70s, Baba has men are now carrying AK-47. Beside, where were you when your brother said it's right for S men to carry AK-47? Old age is telling on Baba now. It does not sound articulate like before. I think it is high time he retires to his farm and looks after his goods. Maybe he was sleeping when Mat Matati Hala said Fulani S men have right to carry AK-47, anyway, anywhere they move to, tell him he's drunk. This is nonsense. Nigerians are still reacting. All right, someone said, yes, that is why you are blind and a lying Muslim. So you can't tell, you can't see and understand. All right, someone said, he cannot say contrary to what other Fulanese have earlier said. Otherwise, they will come after him or his family. Nevertheless, 
these people, they know what they are doing. They can never condemn their people because these X-Men, they are their people. What do you think about it? All right, someone said, okay, no problem. I know your time to leave Earth is very near. So I refuse to talk about walking dead. Sleep on liar. All right, someone said, I so much love the Northerners. They have a way of covering up things, even when they are dying inside fire. Could it be that this man is not aware of what is happening in their, in their own state? Even the Niger state is the worst place to be because the bandits have taken everywhere. All right, someone said, there is no day or two you will know yeah, about bandits kidnapping in Niger state. And this man is telling us that he, he have not seen a, a, a yes man with a gun. Okay, since... They are now carrying guns and they have not seen but he has heard. What measures have they put in on ground to make sure that the poor man out there will be left free? Nigerians are still talking. As you can see, Nigerians, <laughs> they are not really comfortable with these ways. Though, we don't really know what he meant, whether he's trying to say that uh, s men are not known with a gun. Meaning that any s man that, that is with a gun, that person is not an s man but a terrorist. Or, in the other hand, is trying to say that s man does not carry gun at all. The, the, this, this, uh, the statement is just somehow, it's not really clear. Because it did not really, you know, explain what it meant, you know, by this statement. Whether it meant that s man does not carry gun at all in Nigeria, or he is trying to say that any s man with a gun is not an s man but a terrorist. Hey guys, I'm dropping it here. Let's hear from you. What do you think about this statement? Kindly drop your view below the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.